Well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Yeah. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? It is not me. Oh, oh shit. God, go. I'm going. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, you guys, oh shit. Someone's in my tower. You gotta run faster, guy! Oh my gosh! Hey, I got turned around. Is that person still there? No, he's gone. I'll call you when I get back. Where am I? Shit. I need to go north. Go north. Oh my god. What did he take? Oh my gosh. I don't see anyone up here. He was just there. Oh god. Talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. Oh! No. We are screwed. No! Oh! Dee, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? Oh my god! What the fuck? What the fuck? stick together. Oh, I should have said us. Keep our story straight. Shit. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. I should have said us, so I could, like jar her or something. I don't know. Fuck. This game is stupid intense. Hey, you actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Uh... I don't even know how to call anyone other than you. And please, rest assured, I would have found someone with a better sense of humor a long time ago. <sighs> okay. What if she's playing him? Alright, here we go. Here we go, you guys. Oh. What the hell? Jesus, this is a big cave. Use what? Oh my god. I hate squeezing through things because shit could happen from both sides and you can't get out. Oh my gosh.
Uh. It's freezing in here. Sing Toto again. What's that? That's a shoe! You guys see that shoe? I'm gonna take a picture of it actually. Drop down. I need to take a picture of that shoe. Where does it go? Where did it go? Shit. Where did it go? Fuck, I've lost myself. I've lost myself. Alright, it went down this. Right? Okay, there. There's a shoe. It's getting tighter and tighter. I don't like this. Come on. Found a way out, okay. Oh. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. <gasps> I found another way out, but if I hadn't... Is that Jesus. what that is? So you, so you didn't find anything? No. Th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. Well, I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Jesus. Took us all the way over here. To the telephone lines. I have to... To make my way north. And then back down south to the... The freaking... Trail. Whoa. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah. He built himself a real castle. Backpack retrieval plan. Mark four to get forage four to six rope. Borrow rocks. Tools borrow. Keep this. Brian Goodwin, Hamilton Science Fair, Rough Draft, Miss Mrs. McNamara, sixth grade. Talking meteors. How ham radio waves can use meteors to talk to people far away. What if I told you that you could use meteors in our atmosphere to talk to people far away? You'd probably think I was a liar, but you would be wrong. Meteors, the alien rocks that come to our planet from outer space, can be used to bounce ham radios waves off of and let you use your radio much better than normal. Right now you're thinking, okay Brian, that sounds like a movie, like Flight of the Navigator, it's not real. But you're wrong. It is real, it is science. It is possible because of meteor scatter communications. My Science Fair Project proves that meteor scatter communications is real. real. But what it is, MSC is a radio propagation mode that utilizes the ionized trails of meteors within our atmosphere. Meteors upon their atmospheric entry can create a dense path of ionized particles that the ham radio operator can use to establish brief communication paths between operators up to 15,000, 1500 miles away. It's pretty cool. I'm going to test this by having a small chat with a friend my dad made in the army who lives in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 1,000 miles from my house. We are going to try and talk on a regular time, but my hypothesis is that it won't work and we'll have to wait for a meteor shower so we can establish communication. Whoa. Hey, the rocks! I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. Whoa, look at him. Look at all the things that he he's written. You're dead. Freddy Cougar? You see that? He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Huh. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear. His anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. 
I think he was gonna hide them in a cash box or something. What he never that... got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <sighs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. Hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it should be a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and please return them to me, Brian Goodwin, in the mail? My address is 55 Foxtrot Lane North, Platinum, Nebraska 69101. If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. You are probably wondering why I left these here. Well, these are my dad's and I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger. P.S. The reward will be good. Okay. And then Wizards of and Wyvern Street. There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half elf, armor seven. Classic Wizards and Wyverns. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Yeah. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Hmm. Let's read it. Character Brian. Player Brian. Character Gladius Sil Silva. Line with chaotic good race. Half elf class ranger. Level 4. Male 29, 5'8, 135. Rugged. Black eyes. Blue. Green. Uh, I mean, black hair. Blue green eyes, clan, homeworld, unintelligible nerd stuff. I'm gonna take the bundle of anchors. Postcard. Ham radio planned by Brian and Ned Goodwin. Okay. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? that he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer oh gosh and also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started i'd say that's a lucky break if i were him yeah that doesn't surprise me ned didn't really seem like a you know with it Dear Mr. Zackler, I'm with my dad in Lander, w Wyoming. It's pretty neat. Dad fished in a spot called Sinks Canyon. Most of Wyoming looks like home in Nebraska, but then there are mountains and woods when you go far. I'm sorry I can't mow your lawn this summer, but I hope you found a good person to do it instead. Can you write back and tell my dad when school starts? Because I don't think he knows. Your friend and neighbor, Brian Goodwin. That's the dad. one that he was talking about. There's a busted old toy out here. Some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. Bunch of rocks stacked up. He made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Bring CS. Are we picking all of them up? Oh. That's it, huh? Little dinosaur. Ha! <laughs> Look at it. Rawr! 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 Want a piece of this? You want some of this? Old pillow sea cushion. Five degrees. You guys notice that those books had numbers? Comic. 
There's like a number sequence to those um, books. All right, we got to go back to the cave. Now that we have anchors. Oh yeah, I should take a picture. You're right. Okay. Go back to the cave. Oh, that was a long drop. Can we go back this way? No, oh, I don't think we can. Let's see. Somewhere here? Maybe this one? Oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. What do you think is in there? I'm probably going probably to be killed. Something that will kill me. So, you know, just sort of getting myself right with God or whatever there is. Henry. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a. Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Yes. Shit. Honestly, I just, I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. So all she cares about is not going to jail. Not the fact that I almost died or anything like that. No. She's like, I just don't want to go to jail. Because I'm getting framed of burning down oh, Wapiti. Uh, also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill him. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, landed in jail. I wonder if they know anything. If there's some way to ask them about whatever happened at their camp. I think we'd be smart to let sleeping dogs lie. You're probably right. God, this fucking cave again, you guys. Oh god, I'm so scared of things just happening. God. No one this time. Here we go. Watching him do that just makes my ankles hurt. Ugh. Oh god. <gasps> oh shit. Are you Oh god. You're Brian Goodwin. Goosebumps all over my body right now, you guys. Oh my god. Oh god. Ah. Oh. Why am I walking so slow and why can't I run? Oh, fuck. Picture! Right! Fuck! Ah! God damn it! Oh my god, I can't look at the body! Okay. 
Okay. Fucking out of here, yo. Out of here. Fucking out of here, bro. Go! Run fast, run fast, run fast. I'm scared. Run fast. Gotta run, gotta run. Sanic. Think of Sanic. Think of Sanic. Shit. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. No, fuck that, dude. I'm not- I'm not getting close to take a picture. Yes, I took a far-ass picture. It's a body! It's a fucking body, alright? Oh, shit. Oh, man. Come on. Oh shit. Alright, we're out! We're gone, boys! Get me the fuck out of here! Oh god. No one, pull me down. No one, pull me down. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Nothing bad happens. Oh. Alright. Okay.